and later on we discuss about a typical characteristic of uh, white noise especially for wireless communication then we will compare white noise with uh, gaussian noise interference noise thermal noise and bus noise and finally we will discuss about the power spectral density of the white noise in the context of uh, wireless communication white noise refer to the background noise or uh, some interference uh, that affects the transmission and reception of signal between transmitter and receiver under the availability of the wireless channel it is a random in nature but continuous signal that arise from various sources including atmospheric condition electronic component uh, thermal effect and many other environmental effect uh, we do not know about it Exact nature, but white noise uh, in wireless communication is characterized by its flat power spectral density, meaning that it has equal power across all frequencies within a specified frequency range. This property make it different from other types of noise that may exhibit a frequency dependent characteristics. White noise in wireless communication. Can degrade the overall quality and uh, reliability of uh, transmitted signal, like uh, other noises, but it can introduce more error and reduce the signal to noise ratio and uh, limit the achievable data rate as compared to some other noises. Therefore, wireless communication systems apply various techniques to mitigate the effect of uh, white noise, such as uh, error correction coding. Modulation is key, and uh, some some adaptive equalization techniques. Overall, white noise in wireless communication refer to the randomness and continuous background noise that affects the quality and uh, performance of uh, uh, wireless uh, transmission signal and reception signals. And in this unit, we will discuss uh, many different aspects and characteristics. Of uh, white noise. Characteristic of uh, white noise includes many different spectrum. Most important is uh, we have already discussed equal power spectrum, which means that uh, white noise has an equal amount of power across all frequencies within a specified range. This means that it can see an equal distribution of energy at each frequency spectrum range. Resulting in a flat power spectral density. Randomness. White noise uh, is a pure random signal, which is not uh, a design pattern or a structure. Each sample of white noise is statistically independent of previous as well as future samples. And uh, constant amplitude. The amplitude of the white noise more or less remains constant over time. It does not exhibit uh, amplitude variation or fluctuation like thermal noise or some other types of noise, Gaussian noise also. Broadband uh, white noise spans a wide range of frequencies, uh, typically from zero hertz to the upper frequency limit of the system, or uh, by generating the noise. So all these effects uh, make it very different. Uh, uh, white noise as compared to other noise. Another important is continuous. White noise is a continuous signal that persists over time. It does not have a interruption or a gaps. And uh, Gaussian distribution, the amplitude values of white noise follow a Gaussian normal distribution. This means that most of the sample cluster around the mean gap with a fewer spectral Occurring at the extreme ends of the distribution. And uh, another important parameter of a characteristic of white noise is lack of correlation. Each sample of white noise 
is correlated with other senses. This lack of correlation means that uh, there is no relationship or uh, dependency between successive sample of uh, noise signal measured uh, from channel between transmitter and uh, receiver. And auditory is the perception. White noise is often perceived as a hissing or a sweeping sound. It is commonly associated with the static sound produced by television or radio tube to an unused frequency. These characteristics are uh, different from the many other type of the noise. Big white noise a very faithful and useful reference signal in various applications such as audio engineering, signal processing, both analog and digital, and uh, communication system. In this slide, uh, we will compare a uh, white, white noise with other noise, such as uh, Gaussian noise, interference noise, thermal noise, and bus noise. These comparisons highlight the distinction between white noise and other type of noise, commonly encountered in wireless communication. Each type of noise has its own characteristics, source, and potential impact on wireless signal. The proper understanding and uh, decision techniques are essential in managing and optimizing wireless communication systems. We can compare white noise uh, with Gaussian noise uh, with respect to three main aspects, such as uh, nature, correlation, and impact. First of all, we discuss about nature. White noise is a form of noise that has the same power at all frequencies. Whereas Gaussian noise is preferred by adherence to the Gaussian normal distribution in that species. They are not same at all frequency spectrum. Similarly, correlation. White noise lacks any correlation between consecutive samples. Whereas the Gaussian noise may display some correlation uh, depending on the particular application or generation of process or even time. Similarly, effect, uh, white noise contributes a consistent level of background noise, while Gaussian noise can introduce unpredictable variation in the amplitude of the perceived signal. Similarly, we can also compare white noise uh, with uh, interference noise. White noise originates from unpredictable environment factors and uh, electronic components. Whereas interference noise is generated by external source, like other wireless device, electrical equipment, or uh, atmospheric conditions. Similarly, frequency characteristic uh, of um, white noise uh, are characterized by some equal power distributed across uh, all frequencies within a given communication system. In contrast, interference noise can display very specific frequency component or aggregate narrow band uh, characteristics. And uh, mitigation, white noise can be reduced uh, through the implementation of current connection coding and uh, adoptive equalization techniques. But interference noise may necessitate the use of frequency control, interference cancellation method, or some spectral strategic management in order to improve the quality of the signal received by the receiver. Now we will compare white noise with a thermal noise. Physically, white noise arises from unpredictable electronic fluctuations and uh, environmental influence. Whereas uh, thermal noise, also referred as a Johnson, Nicholas and what as we have already discussed, is the consequence of uh, thermal motion of electron in conductor. White noise exhibits uniform power distribution across all frequencies. Whereas thermal noise demonstrates a power spectrum, power spectral density that is directly proportional to the square of frequency. 
and uh, thermal noise is a basic and essential source of noise in uh, electronic system while white noise is which include also includes the thermal noise as well as many other source of uh, uh, other noises available in wireless communication systems. Now we compare white noise with uh, bus noise. White noise is characterized by its uh, continuous and uh, random nature, whereas bus noise is distinguished by its uh, sudden and uh, intermittent burst in very high amplitudes. White noise is uh, constantly present during the transmission, whereas uh, bus noise occurs irregularly and uh, can be attributed to the external factors or impairments in the chain. Bus noise has the potential to interrupt or introduce error in the receive signal, where uh, bus occurs, whereas uh, white noise constitutes a constant, constant level of background noise. The power spectral density of uh, white noise in wireless communication is a fundamental characteristic of the noise. White noise has a flat power spectral density, meaning that uh, it has an equal amount of power across uh, all frequencies within a specified frequency range. And uh, mathematically, the power spectral density of uh, white noise is constant and uh, independent of uh, frequency. It can be calculated uh, as a uh, as function of f is equal to n naught divided by t, where as function of f is the power spectral density of uh, white noise and uh, n is the total noise uh, power. And add is the frequency, whereas uh, this more equation implies that power contained in each frequency component of white noise is same. In other words, white noise has an equal contribution of uh, power at uh, all frequencies. The flat power spectral density of uh, white noise is a result of uh, random nature of the noise. Since white noise is characterized by uncorrelated sample with equal power, this power is uniformly distributed across the spectrum frequency spectrum. In wireless communication systems, white noise is often present as a background noise that affects the overall the same signal. Thank you.